What is up everybody, ANV Coinbuster here back with a brand new High Limit Coinbuster video for you all today. And in today's episode we're going to be doing a 20 million dollar buy-in and they only gave us 20 quarters to start out with today. Very, very expensive game. So uh, wish me the best of luck. Hopefully we can walk out of here with millions up on millions of dollars in profit. They got this machine loaded up brilliantly well today. It's like stacked up to the brim almost. They got probably the world's largest tower of $5,000 chips on the pressure shelf back there. And they got tons of quarter towers up front with a whole bunch of $25,000 chips stacked underneath of all that. Oh my goodness. Well, this tower over here just moved a little bit. But unfortunately, that was the last of our quarters, and I don't think we've won anything back. So anyway, I guess it'll be worth it to do another $20 million buy-in. They got a bunch in there, so let's do that, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, we are back. So I did another $20 million buy-in. It gave me 20 more quarters, so now we got $40 million invested into this game today. So let's see. Oh my gosh, I just now realize this. Can you all see this? There is uh, two $1 chips on the corners right there. So if we can just get one of those, that'll be worth 500 extra quarters. That might get the one on the right right there. Unfortunately not. It's not doing too good right now. They, whoever set this game up definitely knew what they were doing. All right, well, that was the last of our quarters. Oh, nice. Did we just get the $1 chip? I believe we did. Wow, look at this. So this right here is going to be worth 500 free quarters. Wow, that really saved us right there. I thought for sure we'd have to do another buy-in. So let's go ahead and cash this in, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, righty, A&B Coin Busher has returned. So we turned in that $1 chip. They gave us those 500 free quarters. So now we can actually start winning, because we can put a lot more quarters in there. Nice, there we go. We're getting all those $25,000 chips. But uh, keep in mind, we do need to win $40 million back. And I doubt there's 40 million in chips in there, which means we're going to have to rely on the dice. A lot of times they'll have white dice stashed in there somewhere. If we win the white dice, we'll get to roll them at the end of the game, whatever they land on. My winnings will multiply by those numbers. Oh yeah, there we go. We're getting the quarter towers to go already. Nice, there we go. Look at that. That was phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Nice, there we go. Two good pushes in a row. Nice three, if you count that one. Oh yeah, we just got all those $25,000 chips. Let's get the loot chute cleared out. Wow, it was definitely overflowing, that's for sure. And uh, I don't know if y'all have realized this yet, but um, check out these towers they got right here. It's like, the one right here, it goes $10,000 chips and $25,000 chips, and it does that the whole way, like up the tower. And the one on the right blue shelf and the left blue shelf, those are like $5,000, then $25,000, $5,000, and then so on. You get what I'm trying to say. I don't think I've ever seen a tower like that in this machine before, so that is very, very unique. Let me know what you think about those types of towers down in the comments. Oh my gosh, well that world's biggest tower of $5,000 chips, it's on the edge of the pressure now. Matter of fact, I think we're going to get it. Oh yeah, jackpot baby, nice, there it goes. Wow, we demolished that tower on the right, and look at all that that was hidden inside of it. Looks like there was some gold bars. Uh, they got one of them ginormous dollar sign bags, Mr. Bags, that's spectacular. Wow, we're going to do super good on this game today, I think. Oh yeah, there we go. That was a nice push on the left-hand side there. Wow, look at that. All those $5,000 chips that were stuck fell out on the left-hand side. Yeah, I remember probably about... It's been close to a month ago. Uh, they had like the world's biggest U.S. Capitol Tower in there. I'm not kidding you when I say this. There was at least like four or 5,000 chips just stuck on the edge right here. And it was stacked up super, super high. Oh my goodness. Wow, that loot sheet got completely piled up. 
Oh yeah, we're getting some gold out of there. That mystery bag, surprisingly, it's moving on up pretty quick. And we're not through with our quarters yet. We still got a bunch of them. Alright, let's see. Yeah, after we get this all cleared out of here, I will open up the mystery bag for you all on camera. We'll check it out together just to see if they have any valuable stuff in there. Hopefully there's some special chips that can get us some uh, free bonus towers. Or hopefully they got something in there that we could cash in and they'll put the stuff that is on the blue shelves into the play field. Uh, we'd have to win a $5 chip or a red earbud or green earbud one of those three items to cash in they'd put the stuff on the blue shelves into the uh, play field for us so uh my goodness that loose shoot is piled up again what is that mystery bag in there wow super super full so uh anyway yeah if the five dollar chip green or red earbud aren't in there today i would have to spend two times the original buy-in so Today that would cost us $40 million. That would make us an $80 million uh, investment in total. So I'm really hoping that uh, this mystery bag right here has what we need. Um, just, just by feeling of it, it feels like it has a whole bunch of chips in there. Possibly some dice, I'm not sure. I would hope there's dice on a $20 million buy-in game. Yeah, but the staff have been getting a lot more stingy with the dice recently. They've been putting less and less and less dice in there each time we play, seems like. But for the ones who don't know, say you're new to the channel or something, uh, the staff, the manager, the owner, they all had this great big old meeting here a while back. I believe it's been about probably two weeks ago. Seems like it's been about two weeks ago. And they were discussing ways they can uh, make these games a lot more difficult and uh, prevent people from walking out of here with a billion dollars. See, that's, that's the whole reason they had that meeting to begin with because, like, it was getting to where I'd win over a billion dollars every single day. It was completely loaded up with $25,000 chips each day. And there was, like, at least 10 or more dice in there per game. And uh, that's not a good combination if they're wanting to make a lot of money. So, like, uh, yeah, they ended up coming up with some new rules to make the games harder. I'll explain some of them to you. This is what the manager told me here a while back. He told me that the towers are going to be more difficult to win. There's going to be less $1 chips in there. Um, let's see. Less dice. That was one of them. We're seeing that daily, pretty much. There's not nearly as many dice in there anymore. And, uh, let's see. And less quarters for the buy-in sometimes. I mean, a lot of times they'll give you, like, 500 quarters or 1,000 quarters, but that's if there's no quarters in the machine to start out with. Because technically that's 100% fair, because you have to fill up the machine with quarters yourself. Alright, so let's see. I think this money on the side is going to be a little bit before it falls down. So, honestly, I think our best bet now is to just go ahead and open up this mystery bag here. Let's check this thing out. See if they have any nice and valuable goodies in there. It feels like it's loaded up real good. Oh my goodness, wow, it is loaded up super, super good. So, we got some $1 chips right here. So, um... Each one of these is worth 500 free quarters, so that is a thousand quarters right there. And I believe we got another one down there in the loot chute. I'll have to find that here in just a moment. But anyway, let's see. We got uh, four of the white dice, so those will multiply our winnings by whatever they land on. And we got five of the gold dice. Look at that, that is incredible. So those will multiply our gold bars by whatever those land on. And uh, we also got the peach earbud or the pink earbud, whatever you want to call it. So this right here actually gets us one or more free towers made out of $10,000 chips. I'll get to turn this in. They'll build a big old tower in here somewhere. So that is absolutely amazing. That mystery bag was loaded. Loaded up super, super good. So anyway, I'm going to get that loot chute cleared out and just double check to see if there's a $5 chip or something in there. 
And uh, if there is, I'll let y'all know and we'll go ahead and turn it in. So let me clear out that loot chute and I'll talk to you in a second. Alrighty, we are back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I cleared out that loot chute. And unfortunately, I did not find a $5 chip, nor a green earbud, nor a red earbud. But uh, I went ahead and turned in the peach earbud. And as you can see, they built like three huge towers of $10,000 chips in there. It's probably around a million and a half, potentially $2 million there. I couldn't really tell y'all. I'll count it all up after I win it. But uh, anyway, so I thought cashing in the peach earbud first. Before paying two times the buy-in would be the best bet. That way, if we do end up losing some of these $10,000 chips, whenever we pay two times the buy-in, they will automatically put it back in the play field. So, yeah, this right here was definitely the safest bet. So, I wish me the best of luck. Hopefully, we can get all this cleared out of here pretty quick. So, yeah, you know what that means? We're going to have to pay $40 million dollars to get the stuff on the blue shelves today, which it could potentially be worth it because we've already won uh, quite a few of the white dice. And uh, just take a look at all those $10,000 chips that are stacked up on the blue shelves there. It's almost like a staircase that leads upwards. Leads up to the cash back there. That is super, super cool. Uh, let me know what you all think about that down in the comment section. That's one of the coolest things I've ever seen in there, as a matter of fact. Alright, so let's see. It's time to load up a whole bunch of quarters at once. I'm really, really going to try my best to get these towers and chips that are on the corners. The only way we're going to get them to go anytime soon is by loading up the quarters super, super high back there on the pusher. Alright, so let's see. Yeah, let's go for about a six or seven, eight hundred quarter push right here. Six or seven or eight hundred quarters at once. So, how's everybody's day going today? I hope y'all are doing really, really well and having a nice day today. Hope the weather is perfect where you all are at. Now, let me know how the weather is for you all down in the comments section. Yeah, where I'm at today, I guess it's a little bit warm out there and sunny so it's a pretty good day outside i might try to get out there in a little while and uh, enjoy the weather but first after i get through with this video right here i gotta drive back home edit the video try to have it on youtube by like three or four maybe five today i don't know it depends how long it takes me to finish playing this game right here and then after that i'll try to get out there and enjoy the evening or whatnot but I mean, for the ones who don't know, I do this every single day. This is technically my job, my responsibility. I mean, I don't have to do videos daily, but I just do it because I enjoy playing these games. And I know a lot of people are waiting on me to upload videos. And I know a lot of people get disappointed when I miss a video. And I don't usually miss videos. I mean, I might miss one here and there for like a doctor's appointment or whatnot. Or if I just have like way too much stuff going on that particular day. But most of the time I'll already have a game like filmed and ready to go for the days that I don't have anything else to upload. But I think I missed a video last Saturday. It's been like eight or nine days ago. I had a lot going on Saturday. But uh, most of the time... You can count on a and Coin Brusher to upload a video every single day. Top-notch videos every single day, like the best of the best High Limit Coin Brusher videos. Lots of quarter towers, humongous poker chip structures. Now, every day consistently, that's what they have in this machine. So you can count on a and Coin Brusher to bring you the best videos possible on YouTube. The best High Limit Coin Brusher videos. We got the quarters loaded up super, super good in there. It's uh, starting to push pretty good. The two towers of $10,000 kept. We honestly might get those to go here shortly. We just got to keep up the pace, keep everything moving nice and evenly. I think pushing across the whole field works the best. That gets you the maximum pushage power for the maximum pushing power. Yeah, 
And there's still some uh, $25,000 chips on that right corner. I can't believe how far that stack is hanging over the edge there. That's probably about like, uh, I don't know, three-fourths of the way hanging over the edge. I just seen it inch forward a little bit right there. That's always exciting when there's lots of money on the edge like that. That's probably uh, $250,000, quarter of a million. And if all those dice total up to some good numbers, that right there could potentially be a couple million, just that one stack right there. So based off of how much money we've already won and how much we're winning out of here consistently, I think this is going to be at least a $700 million win today. That's just my assumption, my prediction as I should say. Are you welcome to take a guess down in the comments section? Just let us know how much money you think I'm going to win today. Oh yeah, both of these towers are moving now, you see that? Yeah, I'm telling you, that skill stop and rapid fire technique really, really pay out good if you know how to use it right. Oh yeah, that right side's moving along, so is the left side, it's doing real good. Now that is so many $10,000 chips right there, I'd say that's probably, goodness, like three or four or five, if not six million dollars on there. But like I said, we're not going to win no $40 million or $80 million back in chips. I'd say at best we're going to win maybe $30 million. That's just my honest guess right there. So basically the only way we're going to win anything close to our buying money back is if we win some uh, white dice, which we already have. We got four of them, so we'll get to roll them at the end of this game here. And uh, whatever numbers they're facing upwards, see what they'll do, they'll put them on the... They'll put them on the pusher shelf back there, and we have to roll them on down to the uh, lower shelf here. And whatever numbers are facing upwards, that's going to be our multiplier. So, super, super excited about rolling those dice. But anyway, we're not even probably halfway through this game yet. we still got to knock down these two towers of chips. And uh, we got the blue shelves to worry about next, so... Now, this might be a pretty long video today, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Don't go nowhere yet. Alright, let's see. I'm definitely going to try another round. i got to go down there and round up all those quarters, though, because we're pretty much out. Matter of fact, that right there was the last of our quarters, so let's see what it does. Oh my goodness. Well, yeah, both of these towers are moving consistently, which is nice. So, anyway, I'm going to go round up all those quarters that we've won, and we'll get right back to pushing. Alrighty, we are back. Let's get right back to pushing. So, I'm going to keep up the pace, and I'm going to uh, load this thing up with quarters using the rapid fire technique and the skill stop technique. So, I'm going to try to put this whole basket of quarters in there without spilling them all on the floor. So, wish me good luck, everybody. Well, there they go. It's starting to go on the floor already. Well, this ain't going too good. Let's just see what that does. Yeah, I've done spilt probably a hundred quarters on the floor. And it was accidentally shaking the machine right there. I don't want to set the alarm off and get in trouble. There we go. That was the rest of them right there. So let's see what it does. Come on, big money. Well, these towers on the corners were moving pretty good at first. So I'm going to go ahead and stack up the quarters really, really tall back there on the pusher. Go for a mega push this time. Yeah, I can't get over all those $10,000 chips I got on the blue shelves. That is definitely going to pay out big time. That's going to be a lot of money. You're looking at millions up on millions of dollars, and that's potentially a couple hundred million, counting all those dice that we've won. We'll find out later on. We'll have to roll them dice and see what they land on. So anyhow, I appreciate your all's support over the past couple days, over the past couple weeks, and perhaps even over the past couple years. You all are truly amazing, and 
I, I appreciate each and every one of you all. I thought for sure back when I first started making these videos that uh, we'd be lucky to get to a thousand subscribers. But uh, I think by the time I posted my fifth or sixth video, we were over a thousand, almost at two thousand subscribers. So, yeah, these videos have just done better and better and better since then. So, once again, I appreciate you all. You all have changed my life tremendously. So, I can't thank you all enough for your all support and stuff. I appreciate everybody watching the videos daily and uh, hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. So yeah, you all are absolutely amazing. Amazing is an understatement. You all are outstanding. And trust me, I really do enjoy uh, filming these videos daily for you all. And I post them to YouTube, and I enjoy reading your all's comments. It's just been super, super difficult to respond and to uh, like as many of your all's comments. Uh, lately, I've just had a lot of stuff going on. I'm super, super busy. Mainly just trying to get a video out like every single day. And uh, used to, I would post videos in the evening time at like 7 or 8 p.m. Sometimes later than that. But uh, most of the time now, I'm posting anywhere from 12 to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, doing videos like that super, super early, it's, it's a lot of work. It's a lot more work than posting like really, really late in the evening because I have to have everything done by a certain time early in the morning and stuff. So, yeah, it's just a lot more time consuming. This, this keeps me busy, that's for sure. Especially doing one every single day. Oh yeah, well that big old tower of $10,000 chips on the right side, it's a uh, tension forward a bunch. The one on the left, it's real close to the edge as well. We might have to try another round after this, to be honest with you. Because I'm about out of quarters, and uh, we still got to get the tower on the left side as well. Well, the one on the right hasn't even fallen over yet. We probably got about 100 quarters left, if that. There's a whole bunch of quarters on the edge in the center, though. Nice, there we go, perfect. That was excellent. Oh, wait, well, we had quite a few quarters left in the bowl up here. So let's put all those in there. Alrighty, there we go. Let's see what it does. Come on, Mega Push. Oh, yeah, that was a bunch of quarters there. So let's go round up the quarters, and we'll try another round to try to get these big old towers. We'll be right back. Alrighty, we are back. Let's get right back to pushing. So wish me the best of luck on this round right here. It's going to be the last one, and then uh, if we don't win either one of these towers right here, I'll go ahead and pay double the original buy-in, and they'll put all that stuff that is on the side shelves into the uh, playing field. Hopefully they make a great big old tower of all those $10,000 chips right there. It'd be nice if they build it all into one massive one. Or who knows, they might put the whole staircase, they might combine the two staircases on the pusher back there. That would be super, super cool to see that. Alright, well the tower on the right's definitely going to go on this round. I'm 99.9% .9 sure of it. Pretty certain anyway that it's going to go. And uh, the great big old humongous tower on the left side here. I think there's some like, quarters. I don't even know how those quarters are hanging on there. Those are literally defying gravity. Yeah, it's absolutely insane how these towers can just defy gravity at times. A lot of times it don't even make sense how they're hanging on there. But uh, I feel like they do something to make the towers more difficult to win. Well, I can explain why the sides don't push as good as the center, because like, if you notice, uh, that center pushes super, super good consistently, but the corners, they rarely ever move. So like I've said many times before, just in case you're new to the channel or perhaps you've never seen coin pressures at all before, 
and you want a little summary on how they operate and stuff, the reason why these towers on the corners have barely moved is because, like, you see these little opening areas on the left and the right corner there? Anything that falls down in there would go to the owner, and I would not get to win or keep any of that. That's house money right there. Like, see all those quarters that just fell down in the one on the right? You can rewind it if you didn't see it, but it was a good example. But uh, anyway, the quarters are just going to take the easiest route, the path of least resistance. And that would be down those gutters, of course, because it's the quarters are going to go down the gutters. The quarters are going to go down the gutters rather than moving these towers on the corners, you know what I'm saying? But uh, stacking up the quarters super, super high on the pusher increases your chances of getting the towers on the sides to get moving. The one on the right just uh, turned a little bit, turned toward the right hand side, or the left, I meant. Depends on which way you look at it. Alright, so we probably got around, uh, let's see. I'm going to say a thousand quarters left up here on top of the machine, so let's make them count. I'm going to try to get these two great big old towers to go. But see, I would normally go ahead and pay two times the buy-in, but as close as these towers are to the edge, the odds of the staff like moving those to a more difficult spot, whenever we pay two times the buy-in, it's a pretty high chance they would do that. So uh, that's why I just try to win everything while I can while it's in a certain spot. Oh yeah, the one on the right, I think it's going to go, to be honest with you. Yeah, the base of it just moved forward a bunch right there. Oh yeah, there it goes. We might end up getting the one on the left-hand side as well. That would be awesome. I've spent a lot of time trying to win these towers. I don't want to just spend all this time just to give up. Nice, there we go. Look at that. That is what I'm talking about. Alright, well, while there's some weight on the right, let's try to push on the left-hand side. Well, I'm thrilled that we got that tower on the right. That is incredible. That left side's pushing pretty good, too. Oh, there we go. That was a nice push right there. Well, we're starting to get pretty low on quarters. Maybe about, um, well, let's see, how much you think that is right there? Possibly around 90 to 100 quarters left. Hoping we can get that tower on the right side there. My goodness, it is so close to the edge. We're literally almost out of quarters. We got like three or four of them left. All right, there they are. That was the last of them. Let's see what it does. Come on, get that tower. Well, at least we got the one on the right-hand side, though. At least we got something to show for all that work. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pay two times the original buy-in. They'll take all the stuff that is on the blue shelf. So they'll stack it all up into the play field here. So let's call them back here, and we'll be right back. Alrighty, we are back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called the staff back here and I paid double the original buy-in. So we paid $40 million and they took all the towers, all those $10,000 chips that was on the blue shelves. And as you can see, they stacked them all up into the play field. So looks like they just put all the $10,000 chips on the pusher back there. So everything seems like it's in a very, very good spot. Well, it's doing remarkably well so far. We're about to win that stack of $100 bills. For the ones who don't know, there's actually 10000 bucks in uh, each one of them stacks of cash, so that's pretty good. Pretty good money right there. Then again, we are winning like tons of $10,000 chips every single push. But it's also good to see some like 
cash money in there, you know what I'm saying? Oh, nice. There we go. Let's get that loose sheet cleared out. Wow, it's just an infinite waterfall of $10,000 chips. You couldn't ask for a better avalanche than that. We're about to win those $5,000 and $25,000 towers out here. There's one on each side. About ready to go. Well, we ended up losing, uh, goodness, possibly around 100 grand to the blue shelf, so. Yeah, we'll have to pay 100 grand to get that put back into the play field. Which it would be worth it because, like, say all that um, money on the blue shelf is potentially a couple million after the dice multiply all that, then it would be worth paying 100 grand to get. But see, a lot of people have said, well, the 100 grand multiplied by whatever would be a lot more than, uh, let's say, that's 90 grand. A lot of people said I'd be losing profit by doing that, but the money that I would be spending to get the stuff that we lost to the blue shelves would be coming out of my account. It would not be coming out of my winnings, so the money in my account would not multiply, of course. It would just be um, the, my winnings, basically. Wow, there's so many chips down there. It's like a mountain of them already, and we barely even got it cleared out. Well, this has definitely been an awesome game today. Be sure you leave a thumbs up on the video if you've enjoyed this game today. And uh, like I stated earlier, I post videos every single day. Every single day, seven days a week, practically 365 days a year. So if you want to uh, follow along this journey with me, uh, be sure you subscribe to the channel. It's 100% free to do so. And uh, whenever you subscribe, there should be like a bell icon that pops up right beside of it on the right hand side. If you click the bell icon, it will give you the option to enable all the notifications for my channel. And if you do that, uh, basically you'll get a pop up on whatever device you're watching my videos on. And it will let you all know whenever I upload a brand new video. So basically it's just to help you all out. It makes it easier for you to keep up with the future content on this channel. It makes it a lot more convenient, so uh, be sure you subscribe and enable the bell icon that way you're notified for future uploads. And we're sitting at about 168,300 subscribers right now. We're getting pretty close to 169,000 subscribers, but my goal is to get to 200,000 subscribers probably by, let's see, the end of this year, that was my goal originally, but honestly, I'm wanting to get to 200,000 subscribers by the end of this summer, so if y'all want to subscribe and get me there, I would greatly appreciate that. Alright, well, let's see. Yeah, that big old tower on the left side here, it's being pretty stubborn right now, which that's to be expected of a tower that valuable. Usually the most valuable towers are the most difficult to win. But surprisingly, we've done cleared out most of the uh, $10,000 chips. There was more $10,000 chips than anything in there today. Yeah, but what did y'all think about that big old tower of $5,000 chips that was way back there on the pressure? That was massive, wasn't it? I wouldn't consider that the world's biggest tower because I've seen a tower a $5,000 chips way larger than that before. Oh nice, there we go. Great big old tower just fell backwards. Well I'll tell you what, we're about to lose some of that to the gutter right there and I don't want that happening. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and pay an extra $100,000. They will put that stuff back in here and hopefully they'll do something with all this right here. So we'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I'll pay that extra $100,000 and they took all those $10,000 chips that we lost to the blue shelf. They put them all into the play field and all those chips that was remaining like over here on the left. There might have been some on the right. I can't really remember. Uh, let's just say they combined it all into one big old tower back there, including that stack of hundreds. So yeah, wish me the best of luck. Hopefully we can get that big old tower to fall down. Hopefully we can make a fortune. So after we win this, this is going to be the very end of the game right here. We still got to roll the dice and uh, 
I'll let y'all know what they total up to and how much money we make in total today, so don't go nowhere yet. And uh, if you haven't seen yesterday's video, you're missing out big time. It was an awesome video. So, uh, yeah, it was probably the world's biggest wall, and it got stuck against the glass. Nowhere near as bad as the U.S. Capitol Tower did, but uh, it got stuck in there pretty bad. So, anyway, if you want to check out that video, that will appear at the bottom left of the screen, like at the very end of this video right here. Probably within the last, like, 10, 15 seconds of the video. Uh, you'll have enough time to click on it, and it'll take you right to that video. So go and check that one out if you haven't already. So let's see. We got the $100 bills out of there. They was originally stuck against the glass before we paid the 100 grand. So thank goodness we were able to win those out of there. Yeah, the $100 bills can get stuck in there sometimes. And it can be pretty inconvenient trying to win something that is stuck against the glass like that. Oh yeah, we're about to get that last little bit of money that's in there. That might get it all cleared out right there. Nice, there it goes. We got it all cleared out of there. That is absolutely amazing. This has been an excellent game today. Absolutely excellent. So now I'm going to go ahead and call the staff back here. And like I said earlier, they'll put all those dots that we've won on the pressure back there. we got to roll them on down to this lower shelf using our quarters. And whatever numbers are facing upwards, that's going to be our multiplier. So let's check it out and see how many dots we've won. Alright, so we ended up winning non dice in total. We got five of the gold ones and four of the white dice. So let's go ahead and call them back here and they'll line them dice up on the pusher. We'll be right back. Alrighty, we're back. Let's get right back to pushing. So I called the staff back here and they uh, put all nine of them dice on the pusher. So let's get them on down to that lower level. Hopefully they land on some miraculous numbers today. Well, we got a one on that uh, white dice right there. The ones don't count at all. But those dice right there did absolutely amazing. So if I'm not mistaken, that is uh, 15 times their winnings right there. We're going to get the multiplier winnings, such as the cash and the chips, by 15. And the gold dice, I believe the gold dice totaled up to, uh, let's see, 13, I think. Yeah, 13 and 15 for the white dice. So that is, that's pretty good right there. It's not bad, not bad at all. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and count everything up, multiply my winnings and my gold by all this right here, and I'll let y'all know how much money we ended up winning today from a $80,100,000 buy-in. We'll be right back. Alrighty, we are back. You all are not going to believe how much money I ended up winning today from an $80,100,000 buy-in. This is absolutely miraculous right here. So I ended up winning $24,095,000. That is all those chips and the cash combined. And the white dice today totaled up to 15. So I'm going to get to multiply my winnings by 15. And in total, I ended up winning $361,425,000 from an $80,100,000 buy-in. So that right there means we ended up profiting $281,325,000. So that's not as much as I thought we were going to win today, but um, that's still an awesome win right there. Over $281 million profit. That is just insane right there. That is a mind-blowing win for sure. Yeah, I was not expecting to win that. I mean, I, th I said $700 million because like I thought there would be way more dice in there than for the white dice but it is what it is it's still an awesome win so anyway it doesn't even in there on top of that we won 11 ounces of gold yeah there wasn't any gold towers in there today but there was like 11 ounces of gold hidden inside that tower so anyway the gold dice totaled up to I believe it was 13 so in total I ended up winning 143 ounces of gold Spot price of gold is around like $2,345 an ounce. So that means we got $335,335 in gold. That is an awesome win for the gold right there. And last but not least, we ended up winning, I believe it was 1,328 quarters. So let's divide that by four to get the dollar amount. That means we got $332 in quarters. I'll take it. So that right there is not bad, not bad at all for a $80 million and $100,000 buy-in. So if y'all enjoyed today's episode, now be sure you leave a like on it, hit that subscribe button, 
and turn on the bell icon that way you're notified for future videos and if you want to check out a whole entire playlist of my videos that will appear at the bottom right of the screen there and if you want to check out yesterday's video like I told you all earlier that's a really really good video that will appear at the bottom left of the screen and this video right here is a good video as well at the top left so you can check that one out if you want to and uh, lastly if you want to subscribe you can click the button at the top right there so with all that being said I will see you all on the next episode. You all take care and have an outstanding day.